Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were on our way to Nellis Air Force Base when I realized that there was a little thing that we learned from Rex not that long ago, Jimmy's Well, mainly because of the Wild Wasteland perk. So, we're going to look into what that is in just a second. Uh, there's a closed door, which makes me want to look into whatever this is. Oh. Is. Ow. That hurt a lot. It's a nine iron. Well, I mean, that's a thing. Ow. I, uh, I didn't expect that. I, I, I probably should have in hindsight. Um, there's a grenade bouquet. I can... Yeah, I can. I can disarm it, which is good. Uh, I'm going to do this. There we go. And perfect. Disarm them both. Perfect. I have a feeling this might be booby-trapped as well. Maybe. E no. Nothing noticeable. Okay. All right. There's some rounds. There's a sniper rifle. Wow. I hit pay dirt. Holy shit. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! I cannot believe I just found all of this with minimal problems. <laughs> minimal being the key phrase. Okay. Um, there's an upstairs too. Maybe I shouldn't press my lock, but maybe there's something up here too. Uh, I'll walk slowly to make sure nothing shoots me. Nope. Nothing. Nothing? Nope. It's all good. Cool beans. Uh, who is this guy? Huh. Who is this guy? Stepping on a car like that. Don Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I um, help you today? You're not at the Crimson Caravan Company, so... Okay, goodbye. Um, you are, like miles away from it right now well maybe not miles maybe half a mile but still you are a long way away from there i have no idea what you're talking about i assume that's just one of his base lines uh that he still has in transit from there to his house which i think is right over there i think unless it's right there in which case i think i fucked up a little bit but we'll find out in a second won't we nope he worked he worked he walked right around it. I can't fucking talk anymore. I had one full thing of coffee. One would think I would be, you know, capable enough to talk. But no. No, apparently not. Uh, if I remember correctly. I had killed a couple of... Well, I killed the uh, Mad Brahmin in that one area that I had spawned in. Over at the ranch. But then I remember later on there was... Legion attack squad that ran after me around here. Yep, there, there. Okay. About what I expected. Come on. There we go. There's one down. I only remember it because I walked a little bit just to see if there was anything going on here because I noticed the fire. But then they uh, came after me right over here. So I figured, you know what, I might as well you know, get them dealt with, and there we go. <laughs> it wasn't me trying to know a few steps ahead of what was going on. I was just trying to move towards an area closer to Jimmy's well, and then this happened. So, for the time being, I'm just going to grab all of this stuff. Uh, well, maybe not that. That's not worthwhile enough to pick up. But uh, maybe the helmet. Yeah, I'll pick up the helmet. There we go. And... Maybe. There's supposed to be more, but they're not coming yet. Yeah, there they are. Where are they at currently? They're over there. Okay, well, I mean, I can always pick up what this guy. Oh, shit. Oh, you're not doing a very good job there, bud. Okay, well, he threw a thermal grenade. That's not great. But I can shoot you in the head still, which is good. And you're gone. I am still on fire. I am still very much on fire. That's not a good thing to be. Okay. Okay, I should try and... I'm trying to get this guy down, but he doesn't want to go down. 
There we go. Perfect. Whoo, boy. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good fight. That's pretty damn good. Alright, that should probably eat something. Where are my stats at? Uh, H2O and food. Eh, the H2O is higher than the food. Might as well drink something. A little bit. Uh, purified water. That'll do. That'll do for now. And, uh, because I feel, you know, it makes sense for, uh, being who these guys are, I'm just gonna take all their stuff. There we go. Plasma grenade. I don't remember him throwing one, so I guess he only had one on him. Uh, take these rounds. Take that. Take that. I'll take this, for sure. Um, might as well pick up the bodies and carry them over to where I got the other guy. Uh, bits of one. Oh, this guy lost his head. Oh, well, shit. There we go. <laughs> that was what I was planning on doing. Because, uh, might as well do a callback, right? Call back to when I was fucked over by legionnaires for a good solid hour. Oh, well, there's the bit of head, so there's... There we go. Put that there. Uh, come on. Get the head off. Considering who these people are, I'm pretty sure this would be very much up their alley in the first place. Come on. If the head would come off, it would be great, but it's not wanting to. Come on. Why won't he come off? There we go. Jesus. Just did not want to go. Uh, put it over near the other head. There we go. This is the most morbid callback ever, but fuck it. You know what? Hey, these guys decided to screw with me at the wrong time and the wrong place. So you know what? Fuck them. There we go. Most morbid callback ever. <laughs> I will readily admit, admit it, and I don't care. There we go. Take this guy with me. All right. And uh, there we go. By the body pile. Whoop. Okay, and... Come on. Come on. Let me get the head off. Thought I'm getting everything else but the head. Okay. Let's carry this off there. Okay. And... Come on. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Most morbid callback ever. There we go. Heads all in a pile. Because they deserved it. There we go. Perfect. Alright, and these guys are probably terrified out of their minds considering what they just saw me do, but hey, who cares, right? Alright. <laughs> what, what are they? Oh, they're chem addicts anyway. They're not going to even believe that that just happened. They're going to think that was just a drug hallucination. Alright, well, Jimmy's Well is right here next to li a quaint little farmhouse sort of thing. Alright, Jimmy's Well. Oh, it's a great to Jimmy's Well, so I just need to go down there. Alright, well... Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay. That was... Wow. Didn't expect that right there. Alright, well, let's turn the light on. There we go. Rawhide cowboy hat. And... The Abilene Kid LEBB gun. You should your eye out with that, kid. It's pointed right at his face, too, so that's probably exactly what he did. Uh... Oh, I mean, eventually. Because, you know, he got stuck down here, and there's... Apparently no way out but a ladder, but he apparently didn't want to take that. Either that or the mole rat killed him, which is rather morbid. Alright, there we go. Up we go, and we've explored that little thing. Whoa. Um. I hear explosions. Those aren't good explosions, are they? Not immediately seeing any fire. Yep. Oh, wait. I think I know where that's coming from. It's coming from over there. This is Fields' shack. Alright. Pick all these up, because apparently whoever lives here is not here anymore. Ooh, wait, I can use this campfire. Uh, Brahmin steak, hell yeah, I can use that. Cass's moonshine, I want to make that while Cass is with me, so no, I'm not going to make that quite yet. Uh, I can do it. One of those, yeah. Why not? Party time mentats. Uh, make a couple of those. Why not? Um, ghost sight 
I uh, kind of want to make a potent. Uh, let's make a potent. Fuck it. There we go. That way, if I need to make this more lethal, this weapon, I can do so. Uh, there we go. Pop the rifle out again. Oh, who's this guy? That's a good question. No clue. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Oh. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Huh. You can tell me, or you can tell the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you. I'm a gambler and a scavenger. All right, I've well. made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Sounds like you kill people for their stuff, but uh, thanks for the warning. What's going on past those signs? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? I can. What rock have you been living under? Uh, not one near here. Artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their oh. territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Fair enough. Is there a way to get past? There is a way. And I'll tell you. For a little wager. What do you mean a little wager? Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. 300 caps? I'm a bit short right now. What about 200? Uh, I've got better things to spend my caps Suit on. Suit yourself. Come back and see me when you get tired of picking shrapnel out of your backside. Well, that'll be never, because I'm doing that all the time. <laughs> Let's be honest here. I should probably take a stim pack right now just to be safe. There we go. Because my health was not a tip-top from the beginning. Okay, well, this is an ordeal. But if I remember correctly, I can just move really quickly and avoid those holes here. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, ow. That hurt a lot. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, that hurts a lot. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, I mean, that's what I figured would happen. <laughs> Not immediately, but I figured something like that would happen. Um... I can brute force it like this, but I'd rather not if I can avoid it. Uh, there we go. There's another one. I need one for the leg. There we go. Okay. 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 If I keep doing this little maneuver, I can eventually avoid most of the problems. Okay. There we are. And there we go. Go along the side here. Ow. Most of those problems are gone. Jeez. Okay. Woo. <laughs> this is taking a lot more of my resources than I intended. But it's, it's, it's working. <laughs> it's working. One way or another. It's working. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. I'm almost there, though. Oh, jeez. Jump. And I'm there. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh, the, everything hurts. Oh, everything hurts, but that's fine. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you brute force it. You get hurt a lot. But it at least works. It's better than not. Oh, jeez. Let's do one more stim pack. Just to make everything a little quicker in the healing department. Alright. Nellis Air Force Base. Hey there, buddies. I managed to make it. Okay. Hold it right there. Don't you move. Oh. How the hell okay. did you survive that bombardment? Uh, running. A lot. Run, hide. It's all in the timing. <laughs> I didn't run through all that artillery to hear your stupid questions. Uh, I'm not going to be that much of an ass. Run, hide, run. It's all in but the I timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. You say that. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Well, I can't see you. So, I mean, there's that. Can we move this along? <laughs> I didn't come here to attack you. Then just just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. Raquel. Well, I can't I'll see your face. I'll take this from here. Okay. I'm oh, Raquel, I see yours. master at arms for the Nellis homeland. Mother Pearl, okay. our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Eldest? Who's a, what's a master at arms? I oversee the security of the Nellis homeland. 
from oh. the coordination of its defense to the training and fitness of its population. Okay. So the fact that we're having this conversation means you failed, right? I wasn't the one firing the howitzers. If you want to see how good I am at killing savages, I can show you. Okay. Or you can accept Mother Pearl's invitation. It's your choice. I should probably not press my luck anymore. Uh, who is Mother Pearl? As I said, she is our eldest. Mother Pearl has lived at Nellis from the start and has the wisdom of her age. Okay. She said that this day would come and that any savage to reach our gate should be brought to her. All right, I guess that means me, although I don't consider myself a savage. Anyway, lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. Oh, I'm good at that. I'm really good at that. Of course, it gives me a loading screen, so I can't really do that. Yeah. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? Yeah, a little bit. I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Five years? You were expecting me for five years? Why? I, mean, I was like 19 then. Ish. Anyway, uh, you didn't exactly roll out a red carpet. Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps the savages at a distance. Fair enough. Except you. There's You're something special Bolt about you, child. Clothing. And it was the howitzers that. that gave you a chance to show it. Fair enough. How might I be of assistance? Considering you seem to be vault dwellers of a sort. Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav uh, outsider around. I was about, about to say, could we not... Should Keep calling me a savage, well, it, please. Maybe you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. Okay. How can we trust each other if you're going to be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Okay. Seclusion has kept us safe. But the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance. Patrolling robots, soldiers... Mm -hmm. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little, or become its victim. That's You're a good that outlook to have. You're bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Fair enough, thank you. And I think that is a very good outlook to have, considering that if the world is consistently changing around you, it can change enough to where it can beat whatever you have, and by then you don't have the resources or the capability to keep up and by then you're gone so it's, it's good that she keeps an open mind like that anyway where do i start you picked a good time to stop by for we're swimming in problems oh my really? youngers can tell you all about it raquel could hmm. use help with the bug problem okay doc argyle has wounded he's tending to okay and loyal and jack might be looking for help with some repairs some or repairs. you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, that. help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Well, I hope so, because I would not oh. like being part of that. Oh, hey. We survived out here pretty well so far without any help from... Well, I mean, so far is not, you know, right now. Anyway, uh, return to Yes Man and tell him the boomers can be ignored. I'd rather help them out, if anything. And there's a lot of pre-war books here. A lot of them that aren't burnt. Huh. How about that? And a, one of these. Hmm. You don't see much of those. And I'm pretty sure I would not be able to take anything out of these, so I'm just going to leave those alone. All right, there we go. See if they have a, uh, a reloading bench, because I'm running... Low on the ammunition I took. <laughs> Just a little bit. Alright. There we go. Oh, let's talk to Raquel. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can mm. move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. Okay. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Wasn't planning on it. Uh, she said you had a bug problem? Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. Oh. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Oh, geez. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if hey. you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Quit calling me a savage, please. For the love of God. Alright, uh... I can handle a few ants. Sure, anyone can. 
but there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. Uh, one All other right. thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there, or something. Fire They ants. exploded when hit by a flamethrower. Oh. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Oh. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. So, no fire. A weapon that Loyal might have something to help with the ants. Um. Hmm. I have no idea where Loyal is. Um, I'm going to assume it's one of these other blips. I'm going to assume that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, maybe this one? Loyal's house. Okay, well, I managed to find Loyal's house. How about that? I don't know how you survived the bombardment. That's incredible. Well, thank you. Uh, Loyal, I needed to talk to you. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Uh, I think so. Uh, Raquel said you were working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants? I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Hmm. Any signal over 22,000 hertz at 150 or more decibels should do the trick. Hot damn, you're right! It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Yes. So happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. All Signal's right. too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Well, thanks for that warning. Okay, well. A sonic emitter on the ant mound, so that'll at least deal with the nest. I just gotta kill the rest of them that are there. Okay, well, that means I need to go over to wherever that is. And, um, in the meantime, that means I gotta pop the quest up, so that way I can find where it is. It's over there. Okay. Gotta head in that direction. Man, those are a lot of booms. I have a feeling I'm gonna be hearing a lot of those while I'm here, considering. Alrighty. Man, this is a big-ass base. Nellis Hangers. Yeah, this is... These are hangar doors. This hangar barns. That I don't know the exact terminology. Don't fucking quote me on anything I say around here. Half the time I'm wrong. The other half of the time I'm somewhat right, but I got details wrong. The other half I'm completely right. Yes, I know there was three halves. Shut up. Didn't you hear what I said earlier? Okay. <laughs> I should shut up now. Okay. It's a little further this way. Okay. Looks like solar arrays. Huh. Explains how it was knocked out so easily. And at least it's a good renewable energy source as well. Uh, can, we, can we just let it pip on my radar, please? There we go. Nellis Array. There we go. Who is this guy? We got a Mr. Gutsy. Hey! I guess they kept a couple of Mr. Gutsies. Well, I mean, that's that's one way to look at it. I guess they kept some of them still working for them when uh, they came in. That's a, that's a good thing. Array control interface. Uh, generator power source unavailable. Check all cords and plugs for connection. Wow, that's like basic troubleshooting 101. Wow. That is useless sort of sensors. Uh, array generators. Okay. I'm going to just make it into here for now. And is there any... Nope, not immediately in front of me, which is good. Um, medicine stick, nah. Uh, like shining in the darkness. Eh, this might help. But I'm going to end the episode here for right now, and I will go and do some extermination later. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and helping out the boomers who almost killed my ass on the way over to them for you.